was the slope for number one? Josie. Negative three over two. Who else got negative three over two? Good majority of us, and some of us did not. Um, I will say that make sure you are simplifying always. Um, sure. The process for this one? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, okay. You said C the process. My bad. I thought you said, and I see. Um, so for S one, you could do one of two things: either count or use the formula. So either or it doesn't matter. If we are counting, there are two points that are on there for you, but you didn't have to use those two. There are others. And then you are going to pick whatever two points you want and count. Up or down first, and then left or right. So let's say I did the two points that they said. I'm going to count how many units it takes to go straight down, and then how many units it, go, it, takes, to, it takes to go straight over at its speed. So this is going down six and to the right four. So this would be a negative six over four, and then we multiply. Algebraically? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if we did that, this would be x1, y1, x2, y2. And you would be using your slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Putting all of those numbers into that slope formula. So we have negative 7 minus negative 1 all over 2 minus negative 2. And then you would simplify across. Negative 7 minus a negative 1, that's really plus. 2 minus a negative 2 is really plus. And then you would simplify. So either or, you should get the same answer. Other questions on number one? Correct. I will say this is more work than you really need to do, but you can do it that way. You could discount. Either way. For number two, what was the slope for that one? Undefined. Undefined, yes. You and the um Actually spelling it out either or. And then if we had to describe it, we could say there's a vertical change, not a horizontal change. There's a ver it's a vertical line that's describing the line of the slope. Um really just what I said. Any questions on those two? Questions on anything else on the quick check? I thought Any other questions you want to see or go over on the quick check? Five. Five. Any others? So five is way more complex than I wanted it to be, which is why I didn't like say you have to do five, but it tells us our slope is one half. We know the formula for a slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm gonna label these. And I'm gonna set it up in that same format. So this would be five minus a over 4a minus 2, and b should be 2, not 1, equals 1 half, because that is our slope. 
because we have to figure out what a would be, this has now become an equation, a proportion, where we have fractions that equal fractions. So we have to cross multiply. So this is going back to our last unit. And then distribute. So 10 minus 2a equals 4a minus 2. And then to get a by itself, get all the a's on one side, all the constants on the other. So let's say I add 2a and add 2. Then we would have 12 equals 6a. Divide both sides by 6. And 2 would equal a. That would be the answer. But we want to make sure that it works, that we didn't just solve it and incorrectly get an answer. So we have to put this back into our fraction. 5 minus 2 over 4 times 2 minus 2. So 3 over 8 minus 2. 3 over 6, which simplifies to 1. So it does work. But again, there was a lot of work. Any others on the quick check you want to see go over? Okay, so I'm going to pass. There are different things that we need to know about writing equations. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to write equations and uh, from different things. From graphs, from slope and y-intercept, converting it back to slope or slope-intercept form, when you have slope at a point, when you have two points, so a bunch of different things. We're not going to get through all of those today. But this, I think, is one of the easier ones of all of those things. So the very first things we're going to do are identify the slope and the y-intercept. After we do that, we're going to write the equation from those things in slope-intercept form, which is what? Y equals mx. Okay. So. We are going to do that. Starting with number one. Um, for me, it's easier to see the y-intercept and then deal with slope, so I do that first. Uh, there are points on here, it's just a little blurry, so this is one of them. So when you're looking for the y-intercept, you're looking for where that line, the diagonal one, crosses your y-axis. Where would your y intercept be? Um, sure. What number is that? Oh. Four. 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 And then remember how we count slope. So count your slope. What would that be? Yes. What number would that be? One is going to be one of those. Three over one. Yes, not negative though, just positive. Which would simplify to be just three. So you're always doing your y's over your x's, up or down, then left or right. Yes. So if I'm going from here to here, reading left to right, I'm going up three into the right one. Or if I'm looking at it the opposite way, I'm going down three into the left one. Remember that down and left are both negative things, but two negatives make positive. So it's positive regardless. So I'm going to 
Um, M should always be your slope, so we talked about that part last class, but B is always going to be your y zone. Is that what you were asking? Yes, okay. Then, once we know these two things, we're going to put it in the format y equals mx plus b. So y equals, our slope is 3, then x, and then our b is negative 3. For writing equations from a graph, this is the hardest it's going to do. Now, notice I didn't say with everything, just with writing equations from a graph. Okay, questions about this? Okay, let's do a couple more. Number two, again, it's a little grainy, hard to see, but your y intercept would be right there. What is that point? Two. And then there is another point on here, or you could look at where the arrow is. Either of those. Count your slope. Say that again. It is negative, it's not four. Uh, Brian, say yours again. Negative three. We are going down three. Someone said uh, over something, and I don't know who it was. Over two. So it is both things. Three over two, so, but it's negative. So negative three over two. So you guys had the parts. You just got to put them all together. Right? So what would this equation be then, Brian? Uh, y equals 2x <laughs> minus 3 over 3. Uh, Which one's your slope? Uh, and so it will be negative 3 over 2x plus 2. Plus 2. There we go. Okay, do we have questions about that one? We're going to do one more of those. And then sometimes you won't see the M and the B here, but you can still write it off to the side. So for this one, if I was looking for my light intercept, what would that be? Uh, be positive 2. Positive 2. So off to the side, I can write B equals 2. And then find another point on there to find your slope. Someone tell me what that point is, not the slope yet. Which arrow? This one. This one on the right. One on the right. So where exactly? Tell me the order there. X and then Y. Oh, it, um, it would be from the from to it would be up to to the right. Because to the right four would be there, right, not five. online, but five. So that ordered pair would be five, four. Or you could have used this one right here. Either or. So that means your slope is. Can you say that wrong? Five over three. We're really close. So up or down? Yep. Yeah. Up or down before left or right, so 2 over 5. Our y's over our x's, we rise before we run. Okay. It wouldn't be negative 5. It would not be. Because from any of these points, we're going up and to the right, so positive, positive, or down and to the left, positive, positive. So our equation, y equals 2 this x plus 2. The hardest part about these are just making sure you get your slope and y intercept correct. Look at numbers 4, 5, 6 through 14 on the back of that. And 
On the very last page, 19 through 22 or 24. Look at any of those. Let me know what questions you have, want to go over, want to go through together, anything like that. From the first page or the last page, any of them. Yeah. Hold off on that. It'll make more sense in just one second. So, not besides twenty three. Anything else? The first page or the last? All right, so we need to find the intercepts and slopes for each of these. I'm just going to do these all at the same time. Wherever this line crosses your y-axis, I'm going to put a point there. So I can say what my y-intercept is for all of them. So for this one, y-intercept is? Uh, three. Three. For this one, 22. Two. Two. And then for this one, 21. Um, three. We got that part out of the way. Now we just need to find the slope. Now we'll do this individually. Starting at 20, give me another point that this line goes through and it crosses the grid lines exactly. Two, two negative two. If you see another point, there are a bunch on here. So use any of the two points you see. We're counting our slope. What would that be? One over two. So then our equation would look like what? Y Alright, questions on that one before we move on to 21? For 21, someone give me a point that you see that crosses the grid lines exactly. Negative 4 and 3. There's more. So negative 4. Wait, wait. Not the y-intercept, just points you see on here. Negative four, what would the y value be of that point? So at negative four and two, that would work? Four, four. Or four, four, that would also work. Either of those points. And then if we're counting our slope, what would that be? One, four. And then when we're writing this equation, what would that look like? You guys are killing me. Alright, last one. 22. Give me a point that you see that crosses the grid lines exactly. Negative 4, 1. That works. 4, 3 would also work. What is that slope? that were like answering as I was, so I don't know if that was. Alright. 
Any other questions on writing the line or writing the equation line from the graph? No, no, I did not take any of them yet. But when you um, later, you can put your name on it and put it put it in there. Oh, never mind. No, you didn't steal. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. We are going to come back to 23. It's going to make more sense after our next one. Okay. Um, for 19, y intercept here is what? Uh, negative 4. Negative 4. And then give me another point that the line goes through. One negative one. Is that a point on the line? I will say that one negative three looks like it does, but it's actually like not quite on there. But five two would. So if we count that slope. So you got to be careful with those ones, especially when they're so close like that. They'll look like they're going to cross every single one, but sometimes they don't. They're like slightly off. So your equation would be y equals 6 over 5x minus 4. That does not look like a 5. 4. Alright, any other graphing ones? We're going to move on. 23, we are coming back to you, I promise. From here to here? Okay. So here I would go up one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm counting each time I hit a line. And then over one, two, three, four, five. No. Because this does not simplify to that. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about the point? Yeah. One. Negative one wouldn't be on the line. Are you talking about the point or the slope? Yeah. So that point would not be on the line, so that wouldn't work. But if you were thinking slope, I know some of us thought this point right here. Yeah. One negative three, but it's not quite on the grid lines. It's like real, real close. It's not quite there. That's why we can't say the slope is one. We'll come back to that. But I believe so, yeah. Okay, go back to this. Write this at the top of this horizontal lines have zero slope and are y equals. Vertical lines have undefined slope and are x equals. Okay. For these, anytime you see a vertical or horizontal line, you should be thinking void box in your brain. If you have a vertical line, you are looking for well, first, vertical line means that it is an x equals from our void box, we know that. And then we're looking for where does that vertical line cross your x-axis? At 3. So that would be the number you put. This would be your equation x equals 3. Do not get confused with the slope, though, because this did not ask for the slope. But if it did, you would say undefined. So m equals undefined for slope. x equals 3 for your equation. Don't try not to get those confused. Try to keep them separate in your mind. 
right? And then opposite for our horizontal line, this one right here, that's going to be our y equals from our horizontal. And then we're looking for where that horizontal line crosses our y axis. So then again, your slope of this line would be 0, but your equation would be at negative 1. y equals negative 1 is your equation, m equals 0 is your slope. Keep those separate in your mind. Say that again. 0. Or were you saying what does m represent? No, I'm just saying what. Okay, so 0. All right, look at numbers 1 through 6 or 23 on that last page. Maybe did you still want to see 23? Did you still want to see 23? No. No, okay. So look at numbers 1 through 6 or 23. Do we want to see, go over, have questions about any of those? If we have no other questions, move on to the next page. I'm going to fill in some of this. So this page is like a copy of what we were doing with slope. So I'm just we're just going back over it so it's fresh in your mind. If you are given slope and minor intercept, so let's say for number four, how would we write that in our slope intercept form? Brian. Y equals or y equals negative x plus 7, either or. What is the slope? What is it for y equals sin negative <coughs> x plus 7? Oh, no, the, the oh, oh, yeah, y <laughs> slash i <laughs> for y intercept. Do we have any other questions in this, on this page, 1 through 6, or on the second to last page? This one through six. Do we want to see or go over? Six on this page. Okay. Or six, same thing. If you're given slope and y intercept, you just have to put those together in your y equals mx plus b. So y equals nine over two x plus one. Just put them together where m and b go. Hold that thought. Just one through six is what we're looking for right now. So one through six on this page, or the rest of one through six on that page we were just at. Any of those we want to see have questions about? Four's a good one. Uh, yes and no. So if we were doing the same thing, y equals we have a zero slope. Zero times anything is zero. So that means this is really just y equals negative two. So if you see something like this, you should be thinking this is a Hoybus. Same thing if you see slope equals undefined. That one you couldn't put in, so you would just have to say it's undefined. That's the x equals. Look at what x equals. It would say x intercept instead of y intercept. Or it would say none. This is your equation. Right. Other ones in that section or the one through six on the other page? And 
Either did I see your hand? Oh, see. Mm -hmm. This three. We haven't got to that yet. Oh. Oh. I like that you're so you guys are so anxious to get on, but hold that thought. Okay, so we went over these might have been similar on last uh, not last last but Monday. Sure. Let's do number six, and then if you still want to see number three, we'll go back and do that. For number six, remember your goal is to get y by itself to get it back in the y equals mx plus b format. How would we do that? What would be our first step? By you could do that. I would not recommend that this be a first step for you because sometimes you will get things that do not simplify. In this case, you'll have two things that simplify, but sometimes that won't be the case. So that is a good first step for this one. We can do that. I would not recommend it for everything. But if we divide by two, we have to do it to everything. We can't just pick and choose. And we still gotta get y by itself. Multiply by reciprocal. Mm, in this case, I wouldn't multiply by anything else. You mean originally? Reciprocal. Reciprocal of? Uh, two, two, uh, three over two, which is two thirds. Right, but we're trying to get y by itself, so that one wouldn't really do anything. Josie. Yeah. So we can I'm going to do the same thing. Subtract seven and add y. So we're kind of switching those two. So then we have three over two x minus seven equals y. Or so that is in our slope and intercept format, we can put y equals three over two x minus seven. That would be the answer. There are other ways to do this. Right. I moved y over here and I moved seven over here. You can do that to all of them as long as you do it to both sides. You can't just move it and not do it to both sides or move it and do the same thing. You have to do the inverse, so opposite, and have to go across. So I'm going to show you the other way you could have done this. That way you're not thinking I have to divide first. Again, be on the lookout for which may be easier of the two. We can either subtract x or add the y term. Which would we rather? Subtract x. So we're moving that to the other side. So we have negative 2y equals, I'm going to go ahead and switch these two so that my x term comes first. And then to get y by itself, divide everything by negative 2. So the dividing part that we did at the, at the beginning here we're still doing, but sometimes we may not want to deal with all the fractions at the beginning, especially if things don't simplify. Be careful with your signs. This will become a positive 3 over 2 x and a negative 7. Do we have other questions in this section you want to see or go over in that 1 through 6? You would, yes, do the same thing for all of them because you want to see three. So we could subtract x. And I'm going to switch the order of these two so that x comes first. And then we would divide everything by negative three.
I do know how to do this. So this would become a positive y. This would become a positive x over 3. And then a minus 4. What would the slope of this be? Hmm. X isn't part of your slope. One third. One third, yeah. Because this is really the same thing as Y equals one third X minus four. So keep that in mind. All right, any other questions in that section? Moving on. You need to go back. Yes. At the top of this page, write this formula. If you want to put a name to this, this is your point slope formula. This will be another thing that you will need to know and remember. So if we're keeping tabs on what those things are for slope, you need your slope formula. You need to know what that is, how that looks. You need to know your um, slope intercept format. And then for writing equations, you will need to know that same format, y equals mx plus b, as well as this one. So I'm a visual person, so for me, I need to label things so I know what goes where. This y and this x are just variables. They're going to stay y and x. We're not changing them. Everything else will get changed. So in number one, these order pair or this order pair is going to be x1, y1. Slope is represented by m. So we're going to take those three numbers and put it into our formula. So it's going to look something like this. The variable y minus, we are always subtracting, kind of like slope, always subtracting no matter what. Our y1 is 1 equals our slope, which is 3. And in parentheses, our x variable, always subtracting again. And then our x1 is We're not done with it, but this is how we would set it up. After we set it up, our goal is to get this back in slope-intercept form. So we want to do a couple things here. Distribute. Y minus 1 equals 3x minus 6. And then if I wanted to get Y by itself, what would I do, Brian? Uh, add them both sides. Correct. So y equals 3x minus 5 would be our final answer. Box in that answer. Before we do another example, what questions do we have so far? Right. I'm going to skip over to and do 3, and then any other questions you want to see or go over, we'll go over those. So for number three, we're going to do the same thing. Label x1, y1, m. And then we're going to put everything in. So our variable y minus, here our y1 is negative. I'm going to put that in the place. And then equals our slope of negative 1, parentheses, our variable x minus our x1, which is 4. And then I'm still going to distribute on the right, but on the left, before I can do anything with this, these negatives need to combine and make a plus. So I'm going to change that at the same time. Be careful with your signs. And then to get y by itself, subtract 
Seven. Yes, because we're trying to get y by itself. If I subtract four over here, y is not by itself. And you have to move it back. So y equals negative one x minus three, or y equals negative x minus three, either or. <coughs> Any questions on that process? How we got that answer? Look at numbers two, four, five, six, mm -hmm. or on the second to last page, mm -hmm. seven through twelve. Six on that same page, yes. Okay. Any others, and then we'll come back and do those. So two, four, five, six on this page, seven through twelve on that second to last. So we'll do six, and then if, um, I think there was one other I wanted to show you. So same thing, x1, y1, m. So we have y minus 4 equals our slope, negative 3 fourths. Then in parentheses, x minus 6. Here, when we distribute, we're going to end up with a fraction for our y-intercept piece, and that's okay. Sometimes that happens. So y minus 4 equals negative 3 fourths x. You could put that in your calculator. Alpha y equals, or to do it by hand, either or. Someone tell me what that would be when you multiply. 9 over 2. 9 over 2. Positive 9 over 2. And then we would need to subtract or add four to both sides. So y equals negative three fourths x. Nine over two plus four would give us over 2 or 8 and a half. For the slope, it has to be a fraction, but for the y-intercept, you can do fraction decimal. As long as it's a nice decimal, you can do that. This is 8.5. Right. Questions on that one or on 2, 4, 5 or 7 through 12 on the very last one? Number two, and then we do one on that very last page. Same process. Y minus our y1 is 2. Our slope is 1 half. And then x minus 4. Distribute. Y minus 2 equals 1 half x. Minus 4 over 2, which is just minus 2. So sometimes those fractions, when you distribute them over, will give you whole numbers. Sometimes they won't. How do you multiply that? So alpha y equals, and then 1 or enter. Put in your fraction. Scroll down to pick the bottom number. And then just multiply by, what was it, negative 4? And then add two to both sides. What happens when we add these? We get zero. So you can do one or one, no. Y equals one half x or y equals one half x plus six. Either one. <coughs> To multiply? Yeah. 
alpha y equals 1 or enter, put in your fraction, come outside of it, and then do the rest of what you need. On the very last page, do you want to go through seven? Yeah. Um, because as you're about to see, there's not real work you can do for this one. Did you do it already? The e hall pass. Okay, do the e hall pass. So for number seven, if you see something like this where your slope is undefined, bell should be going off, light bulb should be going off. There's a hoi buck situation. Because we have undefined. You cannot do the same work we were just doing with this problem. Because we can't put in an undefined slope. It would be weird. So what you end up doing is undefined. We know this is an x equals. And then we look at our order pair to see what our x value is. And that would be our answer. There would be real no real work to do. You would just have to know that. Now, if the opposite were true, if this said slope equals zero, you could do the work for the zero, or you could do this process. Either or, you would get credit for both. All right. Do we have any questions about that, about anything else? How do we feel about writing equations from graphs so far? Good. Okay, I probably need more practice. Not good, I don't understand. Thank you to those participating. All right, so for the remainder of class, you guys are gonna go through and practice. So anything that we did not do, like these, these, the graphs, the rest of um, this section, the rest of these, the rest of the graphs, any of those, practice. Or, if you've not done the three Khan Academy that are due today, you would be working on that. Or, a mixture of both. So, you guys have that this time to do all of those things, get help, ask questions for things you don't understand, are stuck on, are lost, anything like that. All right?